What's up from the Northeast? <clears throat> All right. So today we've got a few new things. We have a new valve. This is for the Umarex Zelos, and I'm just doing a little bit of experimenting, trying to up the power. Um, I have a new slug power probe, and again, the new power valve. And both of these products come from a guy on eBay. His store is P-A-U dot D-A-M-B-E. I believe his name is Paul. He's a great guy. He makes some cool stuff. And we're going to open up this block. One of the things he makes is a jig. So you can drill a perfect line and open up the transfer port within the block. But first, we're going to show you how to add his slug probe. Pretty simple thing. You're going to take a... Where did it go? A 1.5... And you're going to go inside your probe. There's a set screw. You're going to loosen that up. And this top piece should come right out. You're going to slide that probe out. Slide your new probe in. Now his has a different size set screw. Just double check. Okay, I believe his is a 2.5. So we'll put that new probe in, set our pin back down, make sure you have your threaded part up, and then we'll tighten down the set screw. And that's how you do the probe. I don't like how that's sticking. Okay, so if you over tighten that set screw, it'll stick a little bit. So don't over tighten it, just snug it down. You gotta use a little Loctite. I don't like that. Okay, now to use his jig set, you have a part that's angled, that's gonna face up. And how I did this was I used a flashlight to kind of line it up. You might have to tap it in a little bit. And what I'm doing to line it up is I'm using a flashlight to check the port. Making sure I'm in line with it. And now I just need to adjust it a little bit using that flashlight. And it gives you an alignment dowel. I've gone in a little bit too far. All right, so now I'm aligned properly. You're gonna take your set screws from your barrel, put those back in and snug them up. Don't go over tight. And you're gonna use a quarter inch drill bit to drill down in and angled through. On the transfer port on your barrel, he gives you this little piece of coat hanger. Stick that in so you don't go too far through with your drill bit. And you're going to drill your transfer port out to a quarter inch as well. He did send me a heavy hammer spring to use as well. And I'll show you the differences between his valve and the C88 machining valve. His valve being on the right, C88 on the left. Little bit different poppets. <clears throat> so when you take your valve out, 
this piece right here is sitting inside the block. In order to use his valve, you got to take that out. So if you see on your stock valve in the C88 machining, that piece sits on top of your valve return spring. On his valve, his spring is the same size as the block, so you can take that out for more airflow. If you look, you can see it's pretty restricted. And instead of that small hole, it turns into the large. So you're getting quite a bit more airflow, and that's going to sit in here. Um, I'm not going to be doing any drilling on camera. I'm going to do that off camera. Um, I'm going to have to set up a shop vac and whatnot so I don't make a mess. But once I get this all together, I'm going to do some chronograph numbers. And I'm going to experiment with the two valves to see what gives me the better power. That's all I got for today, guys. Later!